So that was our workout. Slim for summer, and we got slim, obviously. Slimmed it down. So I chose our chat topic today to be ideal body weight. Slim, normal, big. Ideal body weight is our chat topic. Anyway, any way you want to tie it in there, that's that's what we're talking about today. So, your ideal body weight is based on your body mass index, your BMI, and what that is is the ratio of fat that's to your body, and it actually comes in a range because for each each person, each person, each body is different. So you could have, like for me, a five foot six woman who's thirty seven, and you could have another five foot six woman who's thirty seven, and we could both weigh one hundred and forty pounds. But we could look very, very different. If one person works out and they have muscles, muscle weighs more than fat. So you could have two people that are the exact same weight, exact same height, etc. Except one works out and lifts weights, the other one doesn't. And the one that works out and lifts weight, weights looks a lot smaller than the other one who doesn't work out just because the muscle weighs more than fat and the body composition is different. So when you're talking about an ideal weight for someone um, based on their height, you have to look at, there's a, there's a range, there's a range. So for someone like me who is 30, uh, 37, five foot six woman who weighs 140 pounds, the ideal range for me is anywhere between 114 pounds to 154 pounds. So you, I would wanna be somewhere in that range somewhere in that range depending on how much muscle I have or my bone structure, that kind of stuff, all those factors that go into that range. But as long as I'm somewhere in there, as long as I'm somewhere in there, I'm gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna be pretty good. Um, like, I, like for me personally, you know, I, like I said, I, I go between 135 and 140 right now, just depending on the day and <laughs> my activity level, of et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the, the lowest weight that I've actually been, the lowest I've actually been, because I work out a lot, I have a lot of muscle, the lowest I've ever been is 115, which is way on the end of that range. But when I was 115, I looked so gross. Like I was way too skinny, way too skinny. Like this is healthy, this is normal for me because of how much, because of how much muscle I have. So again, so the, that, that BMI, that range, you want a healthy, a healthy BMI is somewhere between 18 and 25%. If you're under 18% for your BMI, you're gonna be underweight. If you're over 25%, that's considered overweight or obese, and you need to you need to knock some you need to knock some of that weight off. You need to knock some of that weight off so you can get into that ideal range for you, for your body type for your height, for your composition. Um, you don't want to have too much fat on you because it doesn't, doesn't do you any good. Makes you, makes you heavier. Um, but muscle, muscle good, muscle good. So find that, and, and the, the calculation is kind of weird. So we, I don't have the exact formula for you, but you can, it's easy to find if you're wondering, like, what is it for me, what is it for me? Just look up, look up BMI calculator online, just do a little search and you should find a, an app on there really easy. I mean, it took me like one second today to find one for me. And you just put in your height, put in your current weight, and it's going to tell you um, what your body mass index is if you fall in between that 18 and that 25%, because that's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. All right, guys. I'm glad to be back. Actually, I wish I was still on vacation. <laughs> Just kidding, so happy to be here with you. And I will, I'll see you next week. Bye.